Rodents are an everyday vertebrate pest that can pose many problems for humans. Here is how you can manage rodents using integrated pest management, also known as IPM. At DPR, we like to describe IPM as any approach that uses the least toxic effective method to solve pest problems. Rodents can cause costly structural damage by chewing holes and defecating in hard to clean up areas. They can also trigger serious asthma problems and carry diseases harmful to human health. When a rodent problem is suspected indoors or outdoors, it is important to deal with it promptly. This begins with identification. Rodents are hard to spot because they are nocturnal and most activity takes place when people are away. You can, however, look for common signs of rodent activity, such as rodent droppings. Once evidence is spotted, it is important to identify if a mouse or rat is present, as this will help decide the type of trap needed. Mechanical traps are a quick, humane, and effective way to manage rodents without the use of toxic pesticides. Here, droppings near livestock feed measure about 0.5 inches long, suggesting a rat is present. Mice typically have droppings that are smaller because they are smaller in size. Before setting a trap, it is important to remove all the conditions conducive to rodents first. In this case, that means removing open food and cleaning clutter to prevent hiding spots along the fence. Before dusk, set the trap along a wall or fence where there is rodent activity. Common household foods can be used to bait the trap, which should be facing the wall as rodents like to travel against them. By the next morning, the rodent should be taken care of. If the trap did not catch a rodent, stay persistent. Rodents tend to avoid new items in their environment. So you may want to leave the trap unset for a few days with bait so they become comfortable, then set it. By following these tips, you can quickly take care of rodents around your home or school without the use of toxic pesticides. For more information, you can visit cdpr.ca.gov.